Hey there. So if you have RV'd for any length of time or owned an RV for any length of time, especially one that was used, you might have run across something that we ran across in ours that we purchased secondhand, and that is water damage. So when we bought our rig, we brought it home. First thing we did was we wanted to just get it nice and clean and start washing it. And so I found a space um, pretty much right away after we started putting water on it that I noticed we had um, water leaking to the interior of the RV, which is just a problem in and of itself for multiple reasons. So what I wanted to talk to you guys about today is kind of the procedure that we did to figure out where we had the water coming in and then how we were able to take care of that water leak. So it was very frustrating um, because where we thought it was coming in was not where it was coming in. And what we learned in this process is that you can have water coming in in a completely different part of your rig and it shows up somewhere else, which is what we had in our particular situation. So the water damage that we had was in kind of one of the compartments above the um, exit door. And so right on the opposite side of that is our patio door awning. So the small awning that comes out over the door. So just because that's where the water intrusion was, that's where that component was, we were just, you know, like positive that that's had to be where the water was coming in. So we completely removed that whole awning assembly, um, resealed everything, reinstalled it. And then the next time that it rained, we just, you know, wanted to check in, make sure that everything was dry and it was wet. <laughs> so what we did then is a few weekends later, after things had dried out again, we brought our rig back to our residence so we could get a hose out and, and hose test. So we put um, water over that awning again, just to see and double check, make sure that that wasn't the culprit and it was not. Um, in one of the RV shows that we went to, we talked to an expert that is in RV body repair about you know potential areas, places we should check. He mentioned to check things on the roof, like the spotlight and the cab lights. He said those can be very problematic for water intrusion. So we put the hose over each of those components individually um, and waited to see where the water was coming from and we saw no water. So the next place we started doing was we started moving down the roof line of the RV and we found our culprit. So where the water was coming in was one of the brackets that holds on the big large awning sits right inside of the drip rail and it had pulled on that drip rail just enough to cause a separation between the roof and the drip rail and allow a place for water to come in. So we sealed that up completely, waited two, three days, brought it back home um, and retested it with the hose and we are dry. So we finally found that pesky, pesky water lake. So our next project will be kind of cleaning up that area, um, getting rid of that water damaged wood, things like that, and patching her up and we are good to go and no more water lakes. Uh -huh. 